The frustration over lack of available tests led to one Orange County woman to take matters into her own hands. We first told you last night at 11, the ER nurse running a testing site from her driveway. We checked. She is an RN nurse, does have the certification to operate a lab. She also reports the data back to the state. And as we see more pop-up sites to keep up with testing demand, News 6's Lauren Cervantes spoke with health leaders on how to verify these particular sites. Lauren. Matt, the health department in Osceola County says there are a number of questions people can ask when verifying if a pop-up COVID testing site is legitimate. Now, Jeremy Lanier with the FDOH in Osceola County says if they are legitimate, those testing sites should be able to answer the questions pretty easily. Lack of responses to those questions would certainly indicate some concern. All questions, Jeremy Lanier with the Florida Department of Health in Osceola County says people should ask if they have any doubts about the legitimacy of a pop-up COVID testing site. I'm getting a number of calls daily about concerns about pop-up sites and, and ways uh, to vet them. Um, and unfortunately, the, uh, the pressure is on the consumer. He says the sites should be able to answer the questions with ease. Lack of responses to those questions would certainly indicate some concern. A red flag that should have people concerned about a site is if they ask for your social security number, according to Lanier. There's very few identifiers that should be provided, and they include uh, the name, of course, of the individual getting tested, a contact number, and a birth date. Uh, in some cases, they may ask for an address, but never a social security number. That, that is a red flag. Now, Lanier says they also want to warn of fraudulent at-home testing kits. He says that people should be wary of those going door-to-door -door trying to sell them. And if someone is concerned or has a red flag about a pop-up testing site, Lanier says they can reach out to the state of Florida Attorney General, ACA, or even the FDA. For now, in Orlando, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.